There's a lot of different AIs out there and it's hard to pick which one to use. So my question is, which AI can make the best Roblox game? That's what we're going to solve today by putting 8 of them up against each other in a tournament to see who wins. Let's get started right away because we have a lot of contestants to go through. But first, some rules. Each AI will be given the same prompt to make a game. In this first round, we're going to have them make something very simple, an obby game like the classic speedrun 4. Each one will also get just one attempt to fix any mistakes. It will be judged on a simple scale of 1 to 10, on their ability to accomplish the task given to them. And if they get a higher score than the AI next to them in the tournament, they will eliminate the other and move on to the next round to make a more complicated game. So up first, we have Google's Gemma 3.0 AI. I came up with a prompt for it describing each feature I need in the obby, like kill parts, checkpoints, coins, and stages. Nothing too crazy yet because we're in the first round, but let's see how Gemma does. And after following its instructions, I was very hopeful for Gemma because it explained everything in great detail as well as made suggestions on what else to add, like a data store to keep the player's coins. But after actually playtesting, there's a lot of mistakes. And yes, I did totally steal the speedrun 4 map to test this, what are you going to do about it? It seems the speed pad works and the kill part works, but the teleport at the end and the coins don't. Not to mention it misunderstood me asking for obby stages and said that you don't need scripts but just parts to make obby stages. Which may be my fault for not explaining well enough, but I'm not going to change the prompt as all AI should get a fair shot and maybe others will understand what I said better. So I told it the errors that came up as well as the fact that I wanted scripts for obby stages so the player actually spawns on the stage they're on and it's the same. Coins and stages still don't work and I just noticed that after you die the speed pad doesn't work anymore either. So I'm giving Gemma a 3 out of 10. It got a 1U speed pad and a kill brick. Really nothing special. I get that it may have done better if I was better at prompting it, but I think that's part of the challenge. Most people trying to make a game with an AI don't know how to explain everything perfectly. Let's speed things up and move on to our next AI, Lemonade. You've probably never heard of this one before and that's because it's pretty new, and Lemonade was also nice enough to sponsor this video. It's basically an AI tailored to Roblox coding, and the reason why that's so special is because AIs meant for a specific task are of course way better at it. I'm excited to see how Lemonade does and give it a chance to shine here. If it scores higher than a 3 out of 10, it will eliminate Gemma from the tournament and move on to the next round. Now, Lemonade is different than other AIs. To set it up, you simply have to go to their website, Lemonade.gg, and connect your Roblox account. Then install the Lemonade plugin and done. You open Studio and make anything you want. Now it's Lemonade's turn. Let's see how it did. The speed pad works. You can properly teleport to the next stage and it even gives you the coins as intended. And the kill part works. So it seems like a perfect 10 out of 10 at first. But... The speed pad doesn't work after you die, so let's give Lemonade its one chance to fix that. So I just asked Lemonade to fix the speed pad after you die, and let's see. Whose speed are that? What happened to LeBron? Anyway, it looks like the speed pad does work again, so Lemonade fixed its mistakes. That means Lemonade did everything I asked with its one chance to fix mistakes. I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because I feel like it's obvious the speed pad shouldn't work based off of Humanoid and only activate one time. But that does mean it eliminates Gemma from the tournament and moves on to the next round. So congrats to Lemonade. So next up we have everyone's favorite, ChatGPT. I gave it the prompt and this is what happened. The speed pad worked. It was really slow. Don't mind that. Just a simple fix myself. But the teleport and coins didn't work. However, the kill brick did and the speed pad still worked after dying. So that's good. I asked ChatGPT to fix the stage teleport and coins display and it did make the teleporting work but coins still don't. So that's it for ChatGPT and I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10 for almost getting there. Let's speed this up again because like I said there's a lot to go through. So next up we have Claude which successfully made a kill brick and teleport to the next stage. But there's no coins and the speed pad doesn't work again once you die. After asking it to fix those issues it fixed the speed pad but not the coins. I'll be giving it a 7 out of 10 and it's going to eliminate ChatGPT, already destroying a fan favorite in my opinion. Now we have Microsoft's Copilot. I don't know anything about this one but let's see how it does. After giving it the prompt, the speed pad works, even after you die, which means the kill brick works too. And so does teleporting, but again, there's no coins. After asking it to fix the coins, it made me add a new script into server script service, so I was very hopeful, but again, the coins did not work. I'm also going to give Copilot a 7 out of 10. Next up, against Copilot, we have Google's Gemini which made a speed pad that only works once and failed to make the teleport or the coins. After asking it to fix these, it was able to fix the speed pad, but nothing else. I'll be giving Gemini a 4 out of 10, which means it will be eliminated and instead the previous competitor, Copilot, will be moving on to the next round. For the final two AIs in this first round, we have Roblox's assistant up first going against Meta. After prompting the Roblox assistant, it got the speed pad and kill brick, but no coins and the teleport to the next stage just did this. 
I tried explaining it better and nothing got fixed. I'll give Roblox a 4 out of 10. Finally in the first round we've meta, which is the first to fail to make a kill brick, but it also didn't make the teleport or the coins work. And to top it off, the speed boost sent me into the stratosphere and forced me to question my coexistence in this world. I eventually set the speed boost to 1 and it was still too fast. After giving a chance to fix things, nothing happened. So I'm going to give meta a 1 out of 10, which means it will be eliminated from the tournament and Roblox's assistant will move on to the next round, where each AI will be tasked with making a tycoon game. Up first in the second round to make a tycoon is Lemonade, and here's a little tycoon setup I put together. I gave it a prompt and it successfully made a claim part, the dropper does seem to be working and giving me money. Now we just have to wait for 100 cash to buy the upgrader, which we can see in the console because I didn't add any UI yet. But it does look like buying the upgrader works and it is giving us double the money. So it seems to me like Lemonade did everything right and doesn't even need a chance to fix anything. 10 out of 10. Next we have Claude, which I was really hopeful for, but it's going to be basically impossible to beat a 10 out of 10. And instantly, it doesn't seem to be giving me money. And it says this isn't my tycoon when I try to buy the upgrader, even though the claim tycoon part seemed to have worked. I did at least give Claude a chance to prove itself, even though it basically already lost, and it did actually fix almost everything but the upgrader button, which I handled in a really odd way. But still, Quad... Quad? Who's Quad? Claude was quite good. 8 out of 10. However, that means Lemonade eliminates it from the tournament. Now the last two AIs in the second round are Copilot and Roblox Assistant. First we have Copilot, which when prompted seemed to get the claim tycoon and leader stats right, but I'm not getting any money and there's errors galore. I asked Copilot to fix it and it got worse. The dropper is completely broken and gone. We somehow went backwards. Anyway, that's it for Copilot, 3 out of 10. Last but not least we have Roblox's AI assistant, which got a working dropper and cash and even spawned the upgrader. But it didn't take my cash away and the upgrader isn't working. So I asked Roblox to fix it and nothing happened. The upgrader still doesn't work and my cash still isn't getting taken away. And you may have noticed I didn't even mention Tycoon claiming this time. That's because it also doesn't even exist despite me asking for it. I'll give Roblox a 5 out of 10, which means Copilot will be eliminated from the tournament and Roblox will move on to the finals against Lemonade. Now for the finals. We have Lemonade vs Roblox Assistant, which makes sense considering both of these AIs are specifically designed for Roblox. Each one will be given the same instructions and asked to make a simulator game. And since it's the final round, each AI will get three chances to fix any mistakes that they make. So up first we have Lemonade, and as you can see here I've set up a basic simulator game for it to try to make. There's an egg here to buy a pet, a wall to unlock the next zone, and a part here in the middle where it's going to spawn the items that you break for cash. I'm going to ask for a cash leader stat, uh, a way to buy the wall here, a way to break these objects for money, and of course to buy pets. So it looks like Lemonade got the breakable spawning, and you do get cash for it. But a proximity prompt isn't exactly how I would have done it personally. But since I didn't specify, there's no fault to Lemonade here. It works, and that's the important part. If we save up for 50 cash, we can see the eggs slash pets don't work. But when it comes to unlocking a new zone, that does. Let's see with three fixes if Lemonade can get the pets to work. So after using Lemonade's three fixes, I was able to get the cash to be taken, and it says in the console that I got a pet, but the egg disappeared and I'm not getting any more cash from breakables. That will be it for Lemonade. Although I'm sure a lot of its mistakes are errors on my end, that's part of the challenge. I'll give it a 6 out of 10 because pets are an important part to be missing. Lastly, we have Roblox's AI Assistant, but there's no breakables. The cash leader stat is there, and it seems Roblox did things way differently by utilizing remote events, but the core gameplay isn't even here. I double checked everything to make sure it wasn't my fault too. I went ahead and gave Roblox its three chances to fix things, and it never even got anything to work at all. I'm afraid you'll think this is scripted, but it's not. I've tried Roblox's AI before, and it was pretty mid, so I'm surprised it got this far, but not surprised it completely failed this time. I guess I'll give Roblox a 1 out of 10 for getting the cash leader stat, which means Lemonade wins the tournament and is the best AI you can use to make Roblox games. 